Uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor uh, Cook, uh, for that uh, inspiring speech, I would say, and uh, certainly uh, it has got the conference off to, to a great start. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Tommy at the outset then also for the work that he is doing uh, in many aspects of education, uh, both in the DIT and the Higher Education Authority, uh, and also uh, for his commitment to tackling a disadvantage in education, uh, which came across uh, very clearly uh, in his remarks uh, uh, this morning. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm delighted to be here in, in Dublin Castle uh, to officially open uh, Pubble's national conference, uh, Life is for Learning, uh, Learning is for Life. I'd like to thank the Chief Executive Officer of Pubble, uh, Dennis uh, Leamy, and uh, Professor Tommy Cook, the uh, Chairman, uh, for, for their kind invitation uh, to me uh, to uh, formally uh, get the proceedings uh, underway. <clears throat> I'm here in my capacity as uh, Minister for Lifelong Learning. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm based at the Department of Education and Science uh, and also at the Department of Enterprise, uh, Trade uh, and Employment. Uh, and my responsibilities uh, in particular, apart from promoting the lifelong uh, learning agenda in its broadest sense, uh, are uh, further and adult and community education uh, and also uh, social inclusion uh, as well. I think they go very well together, uh, as well as uh, school, school transport uh, and the provision of the school transport uh, scheme throughout, throughout the country. Um, there's a particular emphasis, I think, in uh, my department uh, in relation to, as I say, uh, disadvantaged groups and education uh, and minorities as well. And I think that's um, something which uh, this conference will, will be dealing with uh, today, how best to, to advance uh, that agenda. Uh, all the uh, groups are here, all the uh, providers are here in this uh, hall this morning, uh, groups representing the, the elderly and young people and, and, and travellers and, and higher education uh, and so on. So I've no doubt that you're going to have a, a very uh, productive uh, conference. Um, I suppose you don't need me to outline uh, to you the importance of, of lifelong learning. It's uh, so important in many ways, important uh, for the personal and social uh, development and self-esteem of the individual. Uh, it's important for uh, uh, the individual's uh, family, uh, their community, and indeed for society generally, uh, and, and indeed for our democratic system. Uh, and also, uh, it's important uh, from the point of view of the development of, of our economy as well. Uh, but you know all that. You know the importance of, of lifelong learning and, and the need to uh, develop and advance the, the lifelong uh, learning agenda. Uh, this uh, conference uh, represents the, the culmination of a, a series of events organised by Pobble as part of its Delivering uh, Lifelong Learning uh, in Disadvantaged uh, Communities uh, project. I know that you've had uh, seminars in uh, Cork and Sligo and that they were uh, extremely successful. As you know also, the EU has provided funding for this important project under the uh, Raising Awareness of Lifelong Learning Strategies uh, Education and Training uh, 2010 scheme. Uh, and I welcome the representative of the European uh, Commission here uh, this morning as well. Uh, today's conference has a number of objectives, uh, one of which is to increase awareness of Irish and EU uh, lifelong learning priorities. Uh, in this regard, it is important that we reflect on how EU priorities link and reference with uh, Irish priorities. <clears throat> As a small open economy in an increasingly globalised world, uh, the EU uh, is of fundamental importance to our, econom for, to our economy and also to our society. Ireland's membership of the European Union has given Irish people unprecedented opportunities to study and train in other European countries, broadening their horizons, adding to their skills and knowledge, and giving them an international focus. Just to say a few words then on upskilling and reskilling, and to say that they are vital to the development of our people and to the growth of a modern, knowledge based, smart economy. Uh, in this regard, the, the National Skills Strategy, which was launched in 2007, sets out clear long-term objectives as to what our education and training uh, systems need to deliver if Ireland is to uh, develop competitive advantage in terms of world-class skills, education and training. A significant upskilling of our people is necessary to ensure future skill needs and to uh, meet effectively, uh, thus uh, underpinning uh, economic uh, uh, growth. 
Uh, I should have said, said at the outset also that one of my responsibilities based at the two departments is to uh, set about the implementation of the national skills strategy uh, and to ensure coordination in, in the delivery of, of education and training uh, between the two departments. Uh, so the national skills strategy, you will be aware, has very ambitious targets, uh, targets to upskill uh, 500,000 people by at least one level of the national, uh, on the national uh, framework of qualification. And that is a challenge uh, which I think all of us can uh, play a role in, in, in ensuring that that, that, that comes about. Uh, given the importance of upskilling and reskilling, it is entirely appropriate that we uh, debate now Ireland's uh, policies on lifelong learning and how they link in with uh, EU priorities. Uh, many years ago, you will know also the, the Lisbon Agenda uh, was uh, initiated and uh, set about uh, ambitious uh, targets to ensure that the EU became a, a competitive and dynamic economy. And I think those uh, goals uh, today uh, are still uh, uh, relevant. And tr certainly, the whole upskilling and reskilling agenda uh, is, is extremely crucial uh, to that overall uh, Lisbon Agenda. Uh, this conference will also provide you with a, an invaluable opportunity to discuss and debate the challenges uh, facing us in implementing uh, lifelong learning policies. Uh, while these are undoubtedly difficult times for our, our economy, over the past number of years we have seen a significant increase in investment in further education and training. The challenge now for us is to maintain and consolidate that investment uh, to ensure long-term uh, economic sustainability. I do not underestimate the size of the challenges facing us. However, in the past, the further education and training sectors uh, have proved resilient and creative in the face of great challenges, uh, and I'm confident that uh, by working together as partners and stakeholders, we can overcome our current uh, difficulties, and I would include higher education in that as well. Uh, the opportunities and challenges which face those involved in the Irish education system, from students to parents to uh, educators and administrators, are similar in all uh, European countries. Uh, by coming together as partners, uh, mindful of the EU context in which we operate, uh, we can help each other to address these issues uh, at a national and transnational level. In order to meet the skills needs of the uh, future, uh, we need a flexible and responsive further education and training system uh, that is an integral part of the lifelong learning agenda. Uh, we must uh, seek to uh, promote innovative and creative responses uh, which meet uh, both the needs of the individual learner and those of our society and our economy. In this regard, today's conference can act as a catalyst for new ideas and concepts. I think that's extremely important. There's been fundamental changes have taken place in uh, Irish uh, society uh, and our economy uh, over the last uh, year and a half. And this is the time for new ideas and new concepts and creative thinking uh, and looking at how we have done things and how we intend to do things. And I know I have no doubt that this conference uh, can play a major role in uh, generating uh, new ideas on how we should uh, proceed from here. Uh, there is no doubt that we must continue to promote awareness of lifelong learning here in Ireland, uh, and this conference represents uh, an invaluable opportunity uh, in that regard. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to pay a particular tribute to the board and staff of Pubbel for their hard work and commitment in organising this uh, very successful event. Uh, the conference will be important in contributing to the uh, discussion on lifelong learning. It will be informative, but it will also provide you with many opportunities to interact with each other and share experiences and models of best practice. So I do wish you well in your uh, deliberations today, uh, and I look forward to uh, receiving the, the outcome of your uh, conference in, in due course. So again, I'd just like to thank all of you who have uh, taken the trouble uh, to come here. You all come from uh, very uh, different areas, as I've said at the, at the beginning, uh, from the youth work sector, from the preschool sector, from uh, primary, post-primary, further education, and higher education. Uh, you all have expertise and knowledge in your various uh, areas, uh, the youth sector as well. Uh, and uh, I, I wish you well in, 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 in the work that you do. I thank you for the work that you're doing uh, in that regard as well. Uh, unfortunately, I can't stay for the conference. When I leave here, I'm going out to uh, Dunny Kearney in North Dublin to open an education 
uh, fair there uh, for, again, for, uh, for, for a lifelong learning audience uh, for, uh, for transition year students this morning, for uh, primary and post-primary students, and then this evening for, for adult learners as well. Uh, so again, that, that, that will be another uh, event and just shows how much uh, is happening on the ground in relation to, to lifelong learning. So, ladies and gentlemen, great pleasure to be here. I wish you well in your work uh, generally and also at the conference here today. And it's now my uh, great pleasure, therefore, to formally open uh, your conference, Life is for Learning, uh, Learning is for Life. Thank you very much.